I'm back over here again with a different video because today I'm going to do the the top five with the top five. The top five legendary directors of horror. These horror movie directors created the most terrifying horror movies known to men. But I will give out my few honorable mentions before I start the list. But give me a like, comment, and subscribe. But uh, my first honorable mention is Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele is actually the first ever black, the first ever to uh, talk about the racial profiling with his movies Get Out and Us. But his recent film, Nope, actually does talk about aliens, but his most of his actual, he actually did the remake of Candyman, and he did an amazing job with it. I am the MS Scream, we will scream for all horror Horror. Be, be, horror movie fans, let's scream on for these fantastic uh, horror movie directors because because these are five horror movie directors plus some horrible mentions. This will be this is the first horrible mention that is not on the script. These are five honorable mentions. For the first honorable mention, for the first, for number five, the master of, of horror himself, a master of suspense, the first timeless classic, Psycho and Virgo, to Virgo, Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock created these uh, psychological intense films and detail of storytelling and unique details and he is a filmmaker and um, fun fact about Alfred Hitchcock when it was still in black and white he used uh, um, um, chocolate syrup uh, Chocolate syrup uh, instead of fake blood to give him the constancy of real blood in Psycho. I am not joking. He also made birds. He also made a lot of his uh, famous films. And Alfred Chicago is a legend of horror. Number four, the master of of night, the fresh and software genre himself, Wes Craven. Wes Craven created Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. He actually created some other films, but he known for a Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. He been uh, four Scream films. His last film was in Scream Four, when he directed it, but sadly he died in 2017, and he was named in Scream Five. And, um, and to honor Wes Craven, honestly, 
this was a iconic. Honestly, this is best known for he known for Night Fred Cougar and best known for his he actually best known for his iconic uh, he will live on as a horror movie director that know to fun fact when he was created in the film he actually read an article Wes Craven read an article about people dying of a disease a disease that would kill them in their sleep. Number three. The legendary John Carpenter. John Carpenter created the Halloween franchise and the bank. Honestly, he uh, created the tension and unforgettable scores and minimalist approach a uh, uh, sim sim the genre of uh, the great directors. Honestly, Halloween and uh, the thing is actually best. And he actually watched the remake. He said that uh, it reminds me him of the original Halloween. The 2018, not the not the Halloween, the 2007 film, because it Rob Zombie actually took the handle, but he actually liked the 2019. But honestly, the thing, he actually did a work in masterpiece in more body horror, and it's actually very good. Honestly, John Carpenter. You are a master of horror. Keep doing the good work. And John Carpenter not only done, done uh, this, he also done a lot of good uh, horror movies. Number two. Number two, Gemma de Toro. Gemma de Toro uh, did The Simpsons. He actually did a uh, couch gag for The Simpsons. And it darkly bit beautiful. And uh, he did Hellboy. He did uh, everything for The Simpsons. But, but uh, based on his work. But he actually did uh, his films are The Pan Labyrinth and Crimson Peak. Both Huntley Beautiful and Stunning. And this is actually very beautiful and a critically acclaimed uh, dedicated to the fan base. Honestly, Gatero, keep doing the good work. I will, uh, this is actually very powerful. Number, uh, here's some honorable mentions. Uh, yeah, this will be a long list. Toby Hooper, a master of horror, creator of the Ch Chainsaw Massacre franchise. So, Toby Hooper. Raw and gritty talent that, that is fun fact. Toby Hooper um, uh, was under budget, so the actress had to use her real blood to use it. She, he a pioneer of the real horse drama. Next one is Daryl Otago. He is, he created. 
uh, Asperia, a deep red, a he uh, master of the vibrant color and the murder mystery that is Caffeinated Decades. A uh, Siberia and the bread is actually very good and and finally for my final honorable mention, James Wan. James Wan actually created his fair share of horror movies along with the Saw franchise. Final Destination, The Conjuring franchise, storytelling, and jump scares that tell the story. But his uh, recent film, Megan, is actually iconic and will be for and number one. Number one for number one. The master of uh, the uh, master of number one is David Cronenberg. David Cronenberg is the master of uh, body horror, psychological themes, and uh, he actually created The Fly and Videodrome that explored dark uh, and grotesque themes. Uh, Experiment uh, with human and pursue a boundaries that uh, horror can be. David Cronenberg is a master. Now, now, honestly, horror, horror is actually a genre that is honestly the best genre. Genre. There is so many genres of horror. There is genre of horror, but you can scream on all you want, anime screamers. But tell me what is your favorite anime? I hope you like our deep dive in horror cinema with these horror movie directors, which work. Invoke uh, emotion that leave you a lasted impression. I hope you have a screaming impression. Please give me a screaming like, give me a screaming comment, and give me a screaming subscribe. Oh, and I'm go switching back also to my my original thumbnails, uh, but. It will be a change in, uh, and I will actually uh, do the same I've been usually doing, but uh, but uh, a little differently this time. Okay, guys, you have a good day. Bye.